As a little boy, I wanted to be a farmer. When I got out of school at three o'clock, I'd go over to my dad's and get on a tractor and ride it around, you know. When you get older and you have to do it for a living, it's not so much fun, but you know, when you're a young kid, you enjoy. Never went to any education higher than high school. My education was in the fields all summer every year and, and pecans in the winter time. When I was a young boy, I would shake pecan trees on Saturdays and Sundays. And I can remember getting out and trying to write your name when you got off of one of the shakers. You couldn't even write your name, you'd be all over the paper. It'd have you so shook around. But these new shakers we run now, you don't feel all that. They've got nice seats in them and everything worked on pedals. When the clamp closes, it starts shaking and air conditioned and heated. And I mean, it's so much better than it was. My dad was a strong willed. He played for the University of Georgia in football and had scholarships all over the country when he came out of high school. He coached me in football and we were national champions and back to back state champions. And I never played but in, I think, three losing football games and 10 years of playing football. So I'm not a good loser. He carried me to the bank when I was graduated high school and he co-signed a note and he said, son, here it is. He said, you either make it or lose it. I've got 1,550 acres of pecans. Uh, I've got about 500 acres of timberland. I buy pecans also. And I've got about five counties around here that hauled their nuts into me to buy. You know, it just kept growing and growing and growing till, you know, and the same with the buying end of it. You know, I've always tried to pay people a fair price for the product. My dad had uh, emphysema. He was buying pecans the day that he died. One of the boys that was on the truck said, Joy, your daddy is a, a mean SOB. And I said, yeah, I know it, but you can't help who your daddy is. <laughs> and anyway, he told that story about a year or two before he died. And I never knew he heard me when I said that, <laughs> you know, but anyway, he, I'm sure he was probably proud. Mm -hmm.